Hello guys, what's up? I'm Surush Designer. Today we want to talk about all essentials about SketchUp. So uh, let's get it on. This video is a review of other type sessions and other options in SketchUp. So uh, I'm going to delete this character from the top. This is a select tool and this is the uh, lasso select that help us to select some type of different objects and subjects with different definitions. Another icon is the paint bucket. It's include the identity info for increasing the segments, including the materials. You can use all type of materials about asphalt and concrete, brick and clidings, carpets, colors, glass, mirror, landscape, metal, patterns, roofing, stone, and some type of other materials like water, tile, wood, or etc. from this place. As you can see, you can change the material visions with this part called Edit. Component is managing your components. In this model, we don't have any component, just this one. Uh, in the style, we have lots of work to do about how we can export our models very simple and easy with graphical designs the tags help you to achieve and categorize your objects and models shadows is the real light sunlight another option is the scenes that allows you to create some type of different camera sense and the instruction is some type of guidance for drawing and modeling so uh Eraser helps you to delete all the objects you want. Line allows you to draw some type of lines. Rectangle is for drawing a rectangle. Rotated rectangle allows you to draw some rectangles in blue axis or red axis, like this. Circles is for drawing the uh, circles like that and polygons have lots of things for example i want to draw some type of 10 side polygon i type 10 on my keyboard and i press enter and now like this i can draw some type of polygons we have arc like that very simple and easy we have two point arc like this we have three point arc like that and we have the pie like this so as you can see we have lots of way to draw our shapes so uh, another option is the move at first you must select what you want to move for example this circle I want to move on the blue axis like this and I want to copy of them on blue axis. So I select move, I click on the control and I press left click on blue axis like this and I type for example 6x and I press enter. Now I have 7 circles. Another option is the extrude that helps you extrude your models very simple and easy. Rotation is an option that helps you to rotate your models very simple and easy everywhere you want every degree you want another option is the follow me and it's new i will tell you in the next sessions but it's completely related to that for example we have this line and i'm going to continue this line like this and i want to draw some type of shape on this line for this reason i'm going to draw this rectangle for example in this view like that for example this rectangle like this and i'm going to select these lines i click on the follow me and now i click on the circle and you can see we can draw some type of different shapes it's here it's really useful in interior design and designing kitchens so uh, another option is the scale that helps you to scale your models like this and it's really useful in every type of works. Another option we have is the offset. And you know about it like that. We can create some type of different things. 
Another option is the Axis and the most useful option in SketchUp 2023 update is the Flip option. I can make a group this type of uh, water and I click on the Flip and if I click on the uh, red face, green face or blue face, I can change my object's axis. Another option is the uh, tape measure that allows you to dimension your work. Another option is the uh, protector for drawing angles like this. Another option is the uh, section cut that allows you to cut your objects like that in green, in green axis or red axis like this. And if you choose it and move it, you can cut your model very simple and easy. I don't need it, so I right click on it and I uncheck active cut like that. Another option we have is the text that allows you to type some type of guides in your modeling. For example, I'm going to click on this place and show the coordinate of it about the origin, but I can write for example, polygon like that, and I click on the screen. Another option is the uh, 3D text. For example, I wrote Sarush Designer like this, and I want to place it. So I place it in this place. I can double click on it. I can edit it. For example, I can extrude D, or I can extrude other type of things like I, or S like that sometimes it's really useful for you and at the other hand we have the orbit for rotating in our environment another option is the pen for going right left up and down another option is the zoom like this and another useful option is the zoom window for example you just want to zoom on this place you can there are some type of window and it's zoomed for you. Zoom extent is really useful. Another option is the position camera. For example, I'm going to this place and my mouse converted to the eye. That's called look around. If I left click on the screen and I hold it and move the mouse, I can see other places on my screen. Another option is the walk. If I left click and hold it and move my mouse i can walk in the environment and another option is the uh, field of view that helps you to create different angles of the camera lens like that and this is all of the important options we must to know another thing we have after all of this is the uh, bevel for beveling your models at first you need to offset them like that and you choose them, select move, come to the uh, one place, no matter which one, uh, press alt and left click and take it down like this. As you can see, we can create some type of new subdivisions like that. I'm going to talk about them more at the next sessions. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. Do not forget it. Thanks for your watching. Good.